folks, welcome back. We are doing Foo Fighters My Hero. How is it taking us this long to do it? Well, these patrons voted for it last month, so we're doing it now. Uh, standard tuning, I'm going to show you both guitar parts. They kind of merge a little bit um, for the second half, so not loads to do. And tone-wise, I would aim for like a Rattish style overdrive. I'm using the uh, Motherload from Crazy Tube Circuits. This has like Rat and Muff style circuits, but there's a button that you can combine the uh, EQ of both, so I've gone for that. Sounds pretty good to me. So, the intro. Pretty straightforward. We have fourth fret on the B. And the open E. Then we slide up. Then back down. Then you could just play the open two, B and E, or I put my uh, second finger on the fourth fret on the next string down, because those are the same, both Bs, and then and a little bit of, just a little bit of arpeggiation. So clean it would be. Okay, pretty straightforward. You can kind of do what you want there, as long as you get that. You know, whatever you like there. Then you're into the main uh, verse riff, which goes. Okay, so that's Dave's part. I would fret an entire major chord. But you're only going to play the bottom half of the first two uh, strikes. And on the upstroke, grab the top half. So that's the first bit. Then you're going to go to essentially a C sharp. But you can get the fifth in the root as well if you wish. So beef it up. I think that's what they're doing there. But there might be an incidental, you know, open. You know, as you're moving between the two chord positions. So that's why you see that extra bit tab there. And then it's just down, up, down, down, down. That is it. The next riff is played by uh, Chris, which goes. Which is very similar. There's a slight difference there in rather than which you play for the last two beats, okay? So first of all, we have down, down, up, up. Then you're going to move to double stops. I think he's playing the fourth fret here. And then he's going to the seventh fret and off, right? Repeat again. Here it's different. You go to the fifth fret. You could play, you could play that there. If you wanted to fill it out a bit more. So again, slowly. Play it clean just one time. Okay, so that goes around twice and then coming out of it. So we have that going on. So you play uh, one half of that riff. And you're on the second fret here, F sharp. Four, two. And the fourth fret on the, uh, the low E. And then I do a one fingered A chord. I use my little finger there, you could use just your third. And 
uh, the same thing happens with Dave's part. <laughs> So they join in on that part, right? Chorus part's really cool. You could just do this on one guitar. You're going to play. Like that, right? Just repeat it round. So let's break that down. So you start with four on the A. Down, up, down, up. All eight notes throughout, okay? Then we go to uh, some octaves, and these are all going to be played with the root on the A string. Six fret, four times. Up one fret, seven. Up two frets. To nine. And again. That's the same, but this time you go down to the fourth fret. Like that. That again slowly. Next time, for the second half of this phrase, you go to an E5. And then you repeat the same first part. That's what you've played already. Okay, there you go up to the ninth fret. So nine, eleven, back down to six. And that's it, you're done. Uh, back into a little bit less gain in that part, but anyway, you're going to play fourth fret on the G string and you bend it up. So you get that dissonance happening. Second verse is eight times of. You know that already. Chorus again. All the way around that then. Then we've got this little breakdown part. One guitar's playing. Playing that, okay? So you'll see E5 and C sharp 5 with G sharp in the bass notated above. It's the same chords you were playing in the verse if that wasn't clear. But uh, the other guitar part goes off into... That's the first time, right? Or first two times. And this part where it goes... You're playing... Like that. Third time is the same as the first. Fourth time, slightly different. It goes up into this. There's a little uh, little run. So we have. Into that part, okay? Let me wind back a little bit. So uh, third time, you know, because you've already done it. Fourth time is. So this is just a mechanism to get up to here. To this, uh, this little sort of chunk of chord. So we have. Then you go up and down. One beat each. Up, down. Then. No, I'm using my second finger there. Because then my third finger's tucked in to go fourth to fifth fret. Then you're going to do five to seven, seven to nine. But you're hitting two notes every time. Then you're hitting the open E each time, right? Then you are into this part. I mean, it's not exactly like this because it, you go, you know, the rhythm is going to be ever so subtly, subtly varied. But essentially, you can play this four times. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then eight nine zero, or eight nine if you don't um, add in the open E. I 
think there, I think he stays on the ninth fret actually for the fourth time and just bends uh, the double stop. Okay, four times of this. last chorus is the same as the others, it's just played four times. Here it is one time round. And you're going to end on that. You'll also hear that coming at the end. Six, seven, six, two. All on the A string and all slid. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed that. And patrons, thank you. You have excellent taste. Bye.